Hey y'all, um, I always say that, I always say um. Anyway, I finished reading A Step Toward Falling by Cami McGovern, um, so good. <laughs> I'm really excited to read more things from her. Um, this, book's make, this book makes you think, it, um, you connect with the characters really well, they're very real and there's depth. So it switches point of views between a girl named Belinda and a girl named Emily. And Emily and one of the high school football players, Lucas, saw something happening to Belinda during a football game under the bleachers and they didn't speak up the way they should have. So Belinda has um, some minor disabilities, some learning disabilities, um, and social things as well, and um, Emily and Lucas saw this happening to her, didn't get help the way they should have, didn't help her the way they should have, and so they, as punishment basically for not doing the right thing, are sent to help at a class for disabled young adults at a, at a community center. Um, so it switches point of view between Emily and Belinda, so we get Emily's story and understand why she froze um, and how she feels about not helping Belinda and then we get Belinda's story and the emotional trauma she's going through after what happened under the bleachers happened and you don't find out what exactly happened for a long time of the book and so I'm not gonna just say it I want you to read it um, but it's about the relationship that all three of them end up having as Emily and Lucas are feeling this guilt for not doing the right thing and as Belinda's trying to overcome now emotional challenges that she has on top of her learning and social challenges. Um, I loved it. It calls into, not question, but it brings up a lot of great points about how we treat people who are different whether or not they do have legitimate disabilities like Belinda does it's just it calls in it just brings up how we treat each other especially in high school um, where people can be so petty and so mean um, it talks about the how we all want to think we do the right thing but you really can freeze up and not mean to um, it talks about how different people in different social classes have se different priorities and different outlooks on life but ultimately, the best part I thought was um, because Emily and Lucas help at this class for disabled kids. It's a class that helps them understand how to interact with other people in relationships specifically. So things that are appropriate ways to touch or questions that are appropriate to ask and things that aren't appropriate to ask. And I love the way Belinda says things because it's written in her voice, right? She has these disabilities and so she's very to the point, straightforward and blunt. And she tells one of her classmates who is Down syndrome, she says, you can't, at one point, actually it comes up a few times, she says, you can't ask that, that's a personal private question. And I love that there's that title there, personal private question. You can tell that she's heard that phrase and she now has made the effort to remember that those types of questions are not things that you should ask. Um, they, it was just great. I loved seeing it from Belinda's point of view. She has a real thrill for life and she doesn't let the traumatic thing that happened to her hold her back. She does deal with emotional trauma, but she ultimately gets to a point where she can overcome it. And Emily talks about how brave Belinda is. And I loved that. I also really loved Lucas's character. We never read things from his point of view, but you really do get to know him. And he is, he's a great character, a really great character. All three of them were written really well. The side characters also had depth to them that was done well. Um, specifically, one boy who is very unkind to Belinda. You see their relationship from Belinda's point of view and the way she sees things, but then you also understand how the guy is feeling and you understand why he isn't being nice. Not that that justifies it, but you see the why. So even... Um, even the side characters were really well done. Um, Belinda talks about Pride and Prejudice all the time, which now made me want to watch Pride and Prejudice again. <laughs> um, yeah, you fall in love with Belinda. Emily's so real and so relatable. 
And Lucas is, like I said, he's a great character. Really well written. Um, a lot of depth and backstory to him that you don't necessarily expect at the beginning, so it builds and grows, just like as Emily gets to know him, the reader gets to know him, and he just was a very well done character. I liked that a lot. I liked the way she wrote. Um, in conversations where they're having dialogue, and it could be really dialogue heavy, she did this interesting thing that I hadn't really seen before. It'd be going back and forth with dialogue, and then it'd pause, and you're like in Emily's head for a second, and then Emily would tell the reader, then I told him this without it actually being her verbally speaking so that the conversation could jump to the next point without the reader having to go through all the transitory dialogue to get from point A to point B. It was really interesting and I hope that my exclamation explanation just now made sense because as I was trying to think of how to explain it, I couldn't think of a good way to do it. So I hope that that just now worked. Um, so that was cool. I thought the writing was honestly kind of unique because I haven't really seen a writing style quite the same way as Cammie McGovern's was. Like I said, I'm really excited to read more from her. It was published by Harper Teen. Um, it says it's a new book. Let me check when it came out. 2015. 2015 by Harper, Ke Harper Teen. Cammie McGovern is the author. A Step Toward Falling. And then the little blurb on here says, sometimes the worst thing you can do is nothing at all. Bum, 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 right? <laughs> because Emily and Lucas don't help Belinda like they should. Um, it was a, it was just great. I love that one of the main characters is disabled and that her friends are in some ways more drastically disabled than her and they are all such well-written characters and so lovable. I loved them so much. And it made me reflect back on the disabled kids I knew in high school and I hope that they remember me as someone who was kind to them and a friend and not someone who avoided them or was awkward around them. Because sometimes, depending on the disability, at that point in my life, it made me uncomfortable and I didn't know how to act and how to talk to them. But then others, I tried to befriend. There was one girl specifically who, she was in my PE class and she kind of latched onto me, I feel like. But then I, I was always her partner in partner things. Um, she kind of was like, hey, let's be partners. But I was always like, yeah, Okay, let's do it because PE didn't matter to me. I didn't care about winning the basketball game or the volleyball tournament or whatever. I was there to fill a credit. So I was totally willing to be her partner. And if she thought and if she saw me as someone who was fun and kind and nice to be around, that's who I want to be. So, of course, I was going to be her partner. Um, yeah. That was a tangent, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, I love the way the disabled were portrayed in this, both in high school with Belinda and then also at the center where Emily and Lucas volunteer. You just get a wide range of disabilities, but every single one of those people is portrayed as a real person with emotions and personality and opinions and depth. It was very, very well done. Um, very well done. I really, really liked it. Definitely read it. The ending's super cute. The whole thing, just oh, so good. Like I said, I'm really excited to read more from her because she is just a really great author. I hope that the I hope her other books have the same character depth and are able to handle some serious issues as well as this one did. So highly, highly recommend A Step Toward Falling by Cammie McGovern. Keep reading.